Oh my God. I look like a serial killer. <laughs> It's a little echoey in here. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I am excited for today's video because I am in much need of a facial. I'm gonna give it to myself because I'm poor. Today, I will be trying to recreate a famous $500 facial from Shawnee Darden or Shaney Darden, Shawnee Darden, I'm sorry. I'm too poor to even pronounce your name correctly. She is the esthetician to the stars in LA and it is nearly impossible to get a facial from her. Um, you kind of have to be famous or really cool or a model, just everything that I'm not. My goal is to recreate her $500 facial with affordable products. She had a list of recommended products she uses. Some of them are affordable, some of them are not and are well over $200. However, I tried to find things that match closely the ingredients of the expensive things she recommended. So we're gonna go in order of the facial. The only thing I don't have is LED light therapy because that's $2,500 and I it's dumb to afford, I'm sorry. This ring light's an LED light so maybe Maybe it's working, right? I am excited to get started on this. Um, people from the likes of Blake Lively, um, Jessica Alba, anybody with goddess-like skin goes to her. Um, a lot of these people go to her right before big events. Um, so I am excited to get started. So the first thing that I'm gonna start out with, that everybody starts out with, with the facial, is steaming. So this video is sponsored by Vanity Planet, the Era Facial Steamer. However, I have been using this almost every day since I've gotten it. My favorite thing about facials is the steaming and the extractions minus the pain. This little handy dandy guy is a steamer that you can have at home. You literally just pop this off and put in your water. And then the other thing that I like is that you can add a tiny bit of essential oils to this little thing, put it on, and it automatically has a timer of 15 minutes. So you're really getting the full amount of time you need to steam. Um, and there are actually a ton of benefits with steaming your skin. It opens up the pores, it hydrates, it really detoxifies everything. And Blake Lively has been swearing by this and I feel like it works. Um, aside from being able to go to whatever facialist she wants, I think that there's real results in steaming. Steaming also clarifies your skin, makes it glow, and the thing I like about this is I have super sensitive skin, um, but steaming, especially with this little guy, it doesn't matter what kind of skin you have, it just kind of is there for anyone. So if you wanna get one of your own, you can get it for 30% off with this link right here, the link in the description, and just use the offer code C15, that's C15. Um, so I'm gonna get steaming. Maybe watch some TV while I'm at it, I don't know. We have a kitty joining us, joining the party. Oh, mm, posy baby. I love you. Look at this beautiful skin. Beautiful, beautiful beans, beautiful face, beautiful nose. She doesn't need help. I forgot that I have to cleanse my face first. <laughs> So I'm gonna do that. So I am gonna use this Neutrogena Acne Face Scrub. I really like this. This is the Neutrogena Naturals. This only cost me like eight bucks um, compared to some leading cleansers that are around like $25. So I think, I think we're doing pretty well so far. I am applying my avocado eye mask as a thing to put my hair back. So yeah. I'm so emo right now. Why don't you love me? Should I just do what Kylie Jenner did in that video? Did she like barely wash her face? And people are like, yeah, okay. Ew, do you hear that? It's ASMR. 
All right, now that I have cleansed my face and you see how ugly I am in real life, I am going to get steaming. I am going to quickly apply a little bit of doTERRA Breathe um, because I'm really stressed out and have high anxiety. Yes. Melting the stress away, yeah. Okay, the steaming is complete. Now I'm going to go for cleansing my pores. A lot of dermatologists do not recommend doing your own manual extractions at home. Um, there's a lot of high risk. If you're doing it incorrectly, you could damage your skin. But from multiple dermatologists, I have seen that they say use pore strips. And they say pore strips can be just as good. So I am going to apply these and look like an idiot. Okay, hello? It looks like I just got some plastic surgery, um, which isn't unusual for a YouTuber. And hopefully these will get some of my pores. So I am going to go play with Posey. Look at how ugly! Oh my God. Little burrito, little burrito. Okay, this is gonna hurt. Oh, oh Jack, no. My chin hairs. Ow. Okay, the forehead was a waste of time, but now I'm gonna do my nose. Can we see anything? Oh. All right, now that I've ripped half my face off, I'm ready to put on a mud mask. Shana, Shani, recommends an $88 face mask. Um, but I am going to be using this Generation Clay. It is also a mud mask, um, and this is just gonna brighten, illuminate, uh, but it retails for about $24. I also have the Aztec Clay Mask that's kind of a powder. It's just super messy. Nice. Feels good. Oh, that's nice. That's, that's soothing, that's nice. Now that I look like the living embodiment of Squidward from one of the very first episodes when he tries to have a spa day, I'm going to rinse this off. I can barely move my foss, but it looks like it really got into those pores there. That looks nice. So I'm gonna rinse this off with some warm water and then get into, you can see my fingers, and then get into the serum and mask portion. The first serum that I'm gonna put on is this NB Medical Night Cream. So this has a retinol in it. And one of the biggest things that Shani Darden recommends is a retinoid or retinol cream. I've just started using, I actually really like it. Um, and I kind of scammed this off of somebody when I was working at Pop Sugar. Cut that off. She's also a huge promoter of vitamin C. So I'm using this Sweet Chef vitamin C shot. You can get this at Target for, I think, $19.99. I always see people do this in Instagram like videos. So do a nice little massage here. Get that all in. Oh, this is nice. So vitamin C brightens your face. It hydrates your face. I'm starting to zen out. I'm starting to feel good. Next step, at second to last step, I feel like it has been an hour and a half, you guys. <laughs> it's been an hour and a half. The next thing I'm going to do is a sheet mask. She actually recommends sheet masks. I have a glam glow mask, a weird Japanese cat mask, but I think that I'm gonna go with a SpongeBob hydrating mask. Oh my God. I look like a serial killer. <laughs> Give me all your money. <laughs> I look like those people in that movie, The Strangers, where they come and just kill Liv Tyler for no reason. Who thought this was a good idea? <laughs> so this bad boy has hy hyaluronic acid in it, and uh, it is the SpongeBob Patrick Spa Day collection here. It has hyaluronic acid and seaweed to nourish and hydrate. All right, it low-key looks like I killed Patrick Starr, skinned his face, and then kept it Silence of the Lamb style to use for later. I'm gonna try to convince Jack to give me a face massage. Should I film it like this? 
<laughs> this is nice. So we're massaging in a little bit of a hydrating sleeping mask right now to help with wrinkles. And it smells like watermelon. Of all the things you just put on your face, what isn't hydrating? It's all supposed to be hydrating. Yeah. So why even mention it? Well, what? Oh, you're hurting. <laughs> My jaw is so sore. This would normally cost $100, but I get it for free because my man love me. <laughs> All right, it's been about an hour and a half of facial things. Just got my nice massage from Jack, and I think that my skin is starting to glow a little bit. Definitely looks better than when I ripped off those pore strips, but the pores are looking good. We have some clear pores right there. So I'm gonna just give this overnight, see how I look in the morning, and then we can do our conclusion there. But I think for the products I had, I did a good job for a facial. And sometimes I think that people tend to think that the more expensive the product, the better, but I think you can get a pretty decent I think you can get great skincare for not shelling out $200 a product. No shade to rich people, I'm just saying. Let's see how we feel tomorrow morning. My skin feels real refreshed right now. Feels good. Um, hopefully I don't break out overnight. Good morning. It is the next morning. I'm getting ready for work, but um, my skin feels good. It feels less inflamed. But um, I've noticed sometimes right after I get a facial, like the day after, my skin's not great, um, but it takes a little bit of time. However, I was very, what? Posey, what? Why are you screaming? Why are you screaming? All right, um, I honestly, I think I did a good job for what I had and for having affordable products. I think anyone can make a facial at home. And I know we don't have like the fancy ass lights and stuff, but there's a way that you can get the satisfaction of a $500 facial at home by saving at least three quarters of that. Oh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Just remember that I am not a professional esthetician and that you cannot come after me for this, um, but, I hope you enjoyed it, I had a good time, and uh, yeah, please be sure to like and subscribe, and I guess I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.